but running toward the wreckage, Kevin Luckhurst. Well, we've all been sat down for long enough, I think. Who fancies a run? <laughs> Who fancies some exercise? Don't worry. I'm going to run this exercise. This is a wellness exercise, ladies and gentlemen. If you are feeling well, please put your hand in the air and give me some cheer. <laughs> awesome. You're getting the idea. If you've seen your GP in the last year, please put your hand in the air and give me a big cheer. Thank you. If you've ever suffered a mental illness, please put your hand in the air and give me a big cheer. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. I was a bit anxious about that one. <laughs> because when you start talking about the checkup from the neck up, People look at wellness a little bit differently. Mr. Contest Chair, honoured guests, friends, my name's Kevin. I put the crinkle into corrugated iron. I like steam trains. I like Italian food. And occasionally, I battle with anxiety and depression. Big speeches, not my thing. They make me nervous. I'm good at table topics, though. So here's three table topic size speeches. <laughs> speech one, speech two, speech three. You get the idea. Speech one, anxiety. So what is it? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? I am going to need the help of the audience for this one. Are you feeling anxious yet? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going over there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I need your help. When I point to you, please remember what I say and be ready to shout it back at me loud and proud. Don't take it personally, please. That's my job. You're old. You're ugly. You don't belong here. You're fat. You're not going to succeed. Why don't you just go home and die? He actually said that. So let's try that run through, please. You're old. You're ugly. You don't belong here. You're fat. You're not going to succeed. Why don't you go home and die? Thank you. You're very good. I think you can do it louder. I think you can do it faster. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> when I put my hand up, I think you can do it all together, please. Why don't you all to succeed? Wonderful, we're getting there. <laughs> now, when I put my hand up again, please shout it out even louder and keep shouting it until my hand comes down. Are we all good? Wonderful. So, I'm driving to work. I'm mowing the lawn. Here's a thought. Right here, right now. <laughs> And at three o'clock every single morning. Thank you. This is the orchestra of my demons. This is what I have to battle every day for the right to be me. Round of applause for my orchestra, please. <laughs> Speech two, the road toll. We all know about it. There are rules, there are tools, there are restrictions to keep us safe on the roads. And if something goes wrong, there is a small army of first responders who will be out in minutes to help us. Police, fire, ambulance. If you're lucky, you'll even get a helicopter. Despite our best efforts, over 300 people die every year on our roads, unnecessarily. But what makes me angry, what makes me sad, is that for every person who dies on the roads, 
There are two people who unnecessarily choose to take their own lives. And when it comes to first responders, there's just not enough. I promise you there's no helicopters. Speech three. When's he going to get to the title? <laughs> About now. We're good people, we're Kiwis. When we see a road accident, we become the very first responders. We run towards the wreckage. We do our best to keep these people safe, calm, comfortable, warm, until the real experts arrive. I need you to be my first, very first responder. I need you to keep me safe and calm and comfortable until someone who knows what they're doing arrives. If you were one of those people who was brave enough to put their hand up when I started talking about well, mental wellness, let's break a rule here. I'd like you to stand up, please. Please stand up. You are not alone. Thank you. Stay standing. Those of you who are still sitting, lucky enough to be still sitting, I am now talking to you. We need you to be our very first responders. We need you because this is where leaders are made. We need you to take this message back to your clubs, back to your families, back to your communities, back to your workplaces. We need you to run towards the wreckage. If you will do that, please stand up. Thank you very much. When we stand together, we are strong. When we run towards the wreckage, others will follow. Thank you very much.